So let's get into deconstructing it. Let's look at the first measure. It goes D, B, G, B, D. Okay, so again, it's gonna be just. Okay, and there's that tie over the downbeat of three. So that would be counted one, two, and, and four. Now, let's look at that one measure and see how many times it's used in this piece. Measure one, measure three, measure five, okay? Then coming down, measure 9, measure 11, measure 13. So that one measure is used so many times. Let's look at the second measure. It's the same rhythm, 1, 2, and, and 4. The notes are E, C, G, C, E. And you notice you can leave your first finger down, okay? Technically, it wouldn't be, right? Technically, if you look at that C, it's supposed to ring for just an eighth note on the downbeat of 2. But it's easier to play this piece if you just go no reason to move, right? The first one's pretty easy too, if you look at my left hand. Just lifted my third finger up here. There's no motion at all, okay? And if you look straight down there, measure two also occurs in measure six, measure 10, and measure 14. So again, we get four measures for learning that one. Measure three is the same as measure one, so we don't need to re-say that. And then if you look at measure four, it's just C, C, B, A. Right, and that's counted one and two and. Measure five is the same as measure one. Measure six is the same as measure two. Measure seven is new, okay? And here there's a finger I want you to be conscious of. We're gonna go D, B, D, C, leave the C down, A, C, okay? Because it just makes more sense to go instead of going. See how I lift it up there for a second? There's no point. So leave the C down on the downbeat of three so that it's pre-placed and already there for the C on the and of four. Measure eight is just one, two, and, and it's B, A, G. Okay, so that's measure eight. The third system is the exact same as the first system. There's no need to repeat it. The fourth system is the exact same as the second system except for the very last measure, measure 16, which just goes B, D, G. And that's where I do want you to use your pinky, and I do want you to silence the G right on the downbeat of three. So it goes one, two, and three. So that's the melody. Again, it's not that complicated when you look at how many measures we have in those 16 bars. We have, I think, just five different measures. Measure one, measure two, measure four, measure seven, measure eight, and measure 16. So six different measures total. Let's look at the rhythms. Let's look at guitar two. The first three bars where it goes G, C add nine to G, right? So that would be one, two, and, and four, okay? Measure four is number 22 from the previous page. That's just one and two and, and four. Measure five and six is the same as number 20 from page 33. Now let's hear something new that we haven't seen yet. If you look at measure seven, okay, in the second system, we're going to have two chords in one bar. We haven't seen that yet, and of course that occurs in music. So if you look at the D, how it's lined up perfectly over beat three, that's where the switch is. So you would play this one, two, and three, four, and, okay? So you would switch there. If you need to practice this slower at first with just mute strums or whole notes and half notes, you can see up above, I wrote, if the notated accompaniment is too hard for you, just play whole notes and half notes. So that measure would sound like this, then it would just go two, three, four, right? And then eventually you're gonna go. So measure eight, if you look at it, is 21 from the previous page. One, two, and, and four, and. Okay, and now third system, exact same as the first system. Fourth system, the exact same as the second system, except for the very last measure, number 16, we're gonna go one, two, and. So let me play through the chords for you. Um, or maybe I'll do the melody first. So this is at 90. One, two, three, melody.
That's the melody. Let me play the chords for you. One, two, three, four. That's guitar two for Carnival. And this isn't really intended to be a solo guitar piece, but I can play it for you if you want to hear it. If you want to check out the version that's on my CD, uh, it's totally different. It's doing more of uh, actual Calypso uh, feel in that. Here it sounds a little folky when we go. But if you want to be really Calypso, That's more how I intended it to actually be played. Um, but let me play just a solo version so you can kind of hear both. Okay, so without the metronome, it's just... Mm -hmm. 